Please, we're now crossing live to David Dimbleby yeah. at Westminster. Very strange rooms in Westminster. Fifth of May. Here yeah, at number me. 10 Downing Street, the Prime Minister is about to come out and announce, we think, his. Uh, here he comes. His uh, as you resignation and to say he's about to go to the party. He wants to command a majority in the House of Commons. I said I would do all that I could to ensure a strong, stable, and principled government was formed able to tackle Britain's economic and political challenges effectively. My constitutional duty is to make sure that a government can be formed following last Thursday's general election. I've informed the Queen's private secretary that it's my intention to tender my resignation to the Queen. In the event that the Queen accepts, I shall advise her to invite the leader of the opposition to seek to form a government. I wish the next Prime Minister well as he makes the important choices for the future. Only those who have held the office of Prime Minister can understand the full weight of its responsibilities and its great capacity for good. I have been privileged to learn much about the very best in human nature and a fair amount too about its frailties, including my own. Above all, it was a privilege to serve. And yes, I love the job, not for its prestige, its titles and its ceremony, which I do not love at all. No, I loved the job for its potential to make this country I love fairer, more tolerant, more green, more democratic, more prosperous and more just, truly a greater Britain. In the face of many challenges in a very few short years, challenges up to and including the global financial meltdown, I have always strived to serve, to do my best in the interests of Britain, its values and its people. And let me add one thing also, I will always admire the courage I have seen it in our armed forces. And now that the political season is over, let me stress that having shaken their hands and looked into their eyes, our troops represent all that is best in our country, and I will never forget all those who have died in honour and whose families today live in grief. My resignation as leader of the Labour Party will take effect immediately, and in this hour I want to thank all my colleagues, ministers, members of parliament, and I want to thank, above all, my staff, who have been friends as well as brilliant servants of the country. Above all, I want to thank Sarah for her unwavering support as well as her love and for her own service to our country. I thank my sons, John and Fraser, for the love and joy they bring to our lives. And as I leave the second most important job I could ever hold, I cherish even more the first as a husband and father. Thank you, and goodbye. Prime Minister Gordon Brown, his voice slightly cracking as he played, played a tribute to his wife Sarah, goes back into number 10 briefly. The children come out. John and Fraser. Megan is taking them to the palace as well. Nick Robinson is down there in Downing Street and is listening to what the Prime Minister said. Nick?